but the military people know what's going on. William in Tennessee, listening on 1470 AM WBCR, and we'll go to Will in Oklahoma, listening on XM 244. You're on the air, uh, William. Go ahead. Um, a couple things on Mr. Cruz that he's actually incorrect about. Um, Congress is not exempt from the health, the health care bill. They're, they're not exempt from it. They require they have to go to the exchanges like anybody else does on on the exchanges to get their health care benefits that they want to. Second no, of all, no, that's not. Is your 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 Democratic seminar caller? Okay. Second of all, no, uh, let's put him on hold. Going. Put him on hold. This is a Democratic. I'll give you time in a minute, but I actually know what you're going to say next. I've I've heard the seminar calls. I know what they are. And, and I don't mind. We don't screen your calls, sir. So we're a different type of radio show. But I will tell people when it's a seminar call. That's not true. That's a Harry Reid talking point. Um, this is designed to bankrupt the country. It was written by the insurance companies. Uh, Mitt Romney was behind it. You Democrats only care about the Democratic Party. And you feel like you're on a winning team. Sir, if I really wanted to hurt you guys, I would not try to stop this going through. That, Listen, my dad's in healthcare management. He's he's going to basically retire over this because he knows what it is, okay? And you don't know what you're talking about. Now, you think you're going to get some free deal. Did Obama raise taxes on people making less than $200,000 a year? Yes, he did. Did Obama sign the NDAA when he said he wouldn't? Did Obama hire more lobbyists than anybody else? Did Obama say that raising the debt limit did not raise the debt limit. I, I don't mind having people that disagree, but when they're spewing Harry Reid vomit, like Harry Reid vomited it on William, and then he vomited it on me. Now, tell me whose talking points you're reading. What, what side is it from? Harry Reid's side or WhiteHouse.gov? And then if you're honest about it, I'll let you read the points on air. Go ahead. Whose points are you reading? This is from the bill. It's from, it's from the federal government. It's from the healthcare.gov site. It's the federal government saying this. Congress is not exempt. They can go through changes they want to. There you go. It's healthcare. a White House it. baloney. Just like they have fact sheets at Walgreens saying there are no side effects from the flu shot. I mean, what? they'll hand you a sheet saying there's no side effects, but you didn't get, you're not reading from the actual bill. You're reading, you're reading from a Dem Democratic Party captured and run federal website lying to you. Go ahead and read the next line. I knew you were reading. Go ahead. I'm not reading anything. I'm sitting in my car in a parking lot. Second of all, according to premiums actually on the average going down. Now, they woke up some people, up some people. Yeah, that's true. But on average, they're going back down 16% according to the Health Human Services. So, <laughs> some, that's true. Okay. It's, it's okay. average. They, they go up, you, they go better up hope, you better hope this thing gets repealed, dummy. But, you know, okay. I, I know how it is. Once it, I'm going to hold you up. We're going into overdrive. I know how this works. You know, I should actually open the phones up for supporters of this. I, I want you to know my dad is a health care manager, and he, you know, has been and testified for the legislature, you name it. He actually, he's actually read most of the 10,000 pages scanned over it. And he... <laughs> oh, I'll come back to you in a minute. I'll come back to you in a minute. <laughs> Overdrive, you can pick it up at Infowars.com forward slash show or on the listen Visit page. There's a free video feed. I, today. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Oh. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. All right, I'm going to try to not be mean to this guy. Look, you can read the way the bill's written, the original bill, 3,000 pages. The amendments are 10,600 and something pages, and there's more amendments. I mean, next you're going to tell me there aren't exemptions uh, for big corporations. Or next you're going to tell me, because this is what Harry Reid does, and I know it's not true because I've actually looked at the bill, that it wouldn't make people lay folks off or cut them back from full-time to part-time. That's what's happening. And I've talked to the healthcare experts, the lawyers, I've looked at it all, okay, for what it means to my operation. And um, let me ask you this question, William, and then I'll let you talk a couple of minutes because I don't want to just sit here and laugh at you. I apologize. You sound like a nice guy, actually. You're just believing these people. Do you? What do you think of Obama overall? I mean, so I guess you think he's a good guy, and uh, or, or or tell me, and and you really think he and the insurance companies that wrote this. They're doing this because they love us and care about us? Is that what you're saying? 
I, the health care bill is, I think he's done a pretty good job so far. He's had some issues, of course, every president does. Um, the health care bill is designed to allow people to have access to, to global health insurance through the exchanges on the open market. That's what it is. It's not government run. <coughs> if, you, if you have insurance through your company, you can keep that. That's fine. If you want insurance through the exchanges, you can sign up for that and use the exchanges. Now, as far as premiums. You know, you know what, sir, 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 you know, they said there weren't death panels in it. When it does have these federal mandates and these panels, and, and I know healthcare, I have a bunch of family in healthcare, they have bioethics boards turning people off that are alive and talking all over the country. They have the case for killing granny. And, and I know you just, your whole life is feeling like the government's your friend. Do you feel like your sports team won because Obama got reelected? That's a silly question, Alex. That's a thing on the topic. As far as the premiums go. Let me ask you this. Let, let me ask you this. Are you a government worker? That's not, that's not your business, Alex. On, as far as premiums go, premiums for some will go up, some will go down. So on average, they'll go down if you get, sub, you get a, a subsidy to help pay your premium. So, yes, some will go up. You're correct about that. Some will go down. All right, man. Well, on listen, average, you're, listen, you're insulated at your IRS job or your Parks and Wildlife job or whatever it is. I mean, I can just – come on, just say I'm wrong. You, you, you get a state-funded payment, don't you? It doesn't matter what it is for living out. That's what I'm telling you is that on average. <laughs> you know why I know this? Because I, I hear you. Hey, you're a winner, man. You're the winning team. Hey, great. It's going to, you heard it, folks. It's a great deal for everybody. This guy's already got government health care. He's already got it all set up. He's believing the talking point. You bean counters are in there. You really believe you're helping the country. You know, 20 billion to ship General Motors to China, all of it. Great. Obama loves us. Hey, should he get another peace prize? How about five more? How's that sound? That's the best thing with healthcare, Alex, and you're going off topic again. Now, as far as this is a go, seminar I'm caller, talking. this guy is a seminar caller. No, it I'm is. Not. Hold on a minute. No. It is very pertinent. Well, you listen to NPR all day, I'm sure. This is on topic because it's pertinent that he's lied to us on everything else. Like he said, don't worry, I won't sign NDAA so there wouldn't be opposition. Turned out his lawyers demanded it and wrote it, and then he signed it. Did Obama <laughs> raise payroll taxes on the average people and lie about that? No, now you're going off topic. Back to healthcare. <laughs> you're a damn liar, man. You're, you're going off topic, Alex. You're trying to get me. No, off I'm topic. not off topic. They've lied about everything. They've lied about okay, everything, and you're calling in. You're okay. Okay, back on healthcare again. Um, as I was saying before, if you have insurance through your company, you can keep it. That's fine. The exchanges are set up to have insurance on the open market. Correct. No, not correct, because it's rigged to force everyone to buy it, so that will drive up the price like any other commodity you're made to buy. How is it rigged to make you, if you have a choice to buy it or not? If you don't buy it, there's a penalty. You don't have to buy a choice you don't want to. There's a penalty for that. Now, the exchanges are set up in, in, in most states. Some didn't do that. Hey, listen, bro. Uh, listen, hey, you're a winner. You work for the government. It's your time now. Just like under Stalin, just like under Hitler, just like under Mao, it's your time. I just want you to remember down the road... You know what? I got to come back to you. I bet you believe vaccines are good, too. Oh, hold on. I got to talk to this guy more. This guy's a treasure. <laughs> they are teaching the military that the founding fathers would not be welcome in today's military. Public schools are designed to completely take over the family. Obamacare was written by the insurance companies and big banks to gang rape the American people. Uh, I mean, if I got into what the federal government's doing to health care right now, and how it's designed to only let big HMOs and hospitals operate, and how they're shutting down small clinics all over the country right now. Um, 60 plus percent of doctors over 50 I saw in a poll are planning to retire early, which is meant to bankrupt things under Cloward and Piven to socialize things. And William calls in from Tennessee, where they're reporting some projections that it will triple men's premiums, double women's. And I remember reading in the Wall Street Journal, the head of the big insurance consortiums laughing at the profits and how their stock shot up. It's like owning stock in prisons or something. I mean, it's so immoral. And I know all the inside baseball of it. And this guy is calling in. And, and in his voice, you hear the confidence, the arrogance, the, the enjoyment of Obama. And everything that's going on, and and it just shows you, no matter how bad it gets, it's like people that get the Nigerian email 
that, oh, send me $5,000, I'm Prince Abubi, uh, literally, I'll, you'll get $10 million next week. I mean, and for 15 years, I tell people I know, I say, listen, that's not real. That's, you're just mad you didn't get the prince. I'm going to be able to meet him after I help him give him this money. And then they give him the money, and then, and then, and then well, you know, he's still really a prince. And now in Austin, they actually have people that go around and say they're the prince from Nigeria, and everybody bows down and stuff. That's like the Queen of England. She's just a big war criminal globalist, wears a crown, everybody bows down. And with this whole Obama thing, I mean, they are screwing the American people to the wall. They are arresting members of the press, whistleblowers that expose corruption. Uh, they are the NDAA. And this guy just says you're changing the subject. I mean, they're hammering us on every front. And I almost want Obamacare to go in, except I know they plan on wrecking everything and then totally socializing it to get government control of the health care to carry out eugenics, which is the stated plan. And then I said to, you know, the, the listener, we're going back to him, William, and then others that are holding. I said to him, hey, uh, you know, this is all part of the death panels and stuff. And he's like, oh, that isn't real. That, I got Bill Gates saying it's, it's in there and it's good. I mean, I, I, I've got Daschle, who helped write the bill uh, years before with the Republicans, saying we need death panels. I, I mean, I... I'm informed. I know they said this. I've got the book over there that the White House science czar wrote about putting fluoride in the water to sterilize us. I know about the government putting uh, syphilis in vaccines and stuff. I know about the UN putting sterilants in the vaccines. I know about the facts. And then this person just laughs and says, what does that have to do with it? That's changing the subject. It's like saying Hitler said he wouldn't invade any more countries after he went into Danzig. And then he went into, and then, well, he lied. Well, it doesn't matter. Hitler now says he's going to do this for me. And again, getting past Obama, he's just a puppet in the final equation. It is so sick. So I, uh, sir, listening to you is just amazing. You know they're probably not going to be able to repeal it. And because the big banks want this. Let me ask you this. Obama's biggest contributors were Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, and then the defense uh, industry, well, weapons um, um, makers after that. I mean, do you, so you you just say, oh, nobody's perfect. Obama's not perfect. I know there's a lot of AstroTurf, a lot of paid people too out there. It's it's hard for me to believe you're really, because you don't sound stupid, that you're actually calling into this show. Let me ask you this. Let me see if you'll answer this, honestly, or, or we'll know you're a seminar caller. Is it a lie to say raising the debt doesn't raise the debt? Is that a Orwellian two plus two equals five uh, common core type deal. I mean, I, I mean, is raising the debt raising the debt, sir? That's not. That's not what he's saying. He's saying that he's, the amount the government can borrow is raised. That doesn't matter raise the debt. And yes, it does. It, it will if you if we borrow the money. Yes, it will. But they are they are borrowing money. No, no, no. They raised it to borrow more. They the, it was already borrowed. They'd frozen it for a few months. But it was already that was another Orwellian lie that freezing it, freezing it. Uh, that it wasn't going up, but it, but it was going up. They just faked the numbers. Okay, but just you go ahead and tell me about Obama. Uh, do you think, uh, so, so there are no death panels. There isn't the Newsweek case for killing granny. NPR every day isn't promoting euthanasia. Um, none of this is happening. Everything's good then. All right, first of all, one article of Newsweek does not mean there are death panels. Second of all, okay. that's kind of, what you're talking about is you're talking about end of health decisions paid for by the Health Care Act. Talking to your doctor about end of health decisions. It's not a death panel. All right. That's, that's right. That's right. The doctor Sunday. and the to, family has the decision taken away. That's right. So, no, that's not true at all. The doctor and his family makes the decision. I don't know where your information is coming from, but that's not true. <laughs> the family and doctors make the decision based on what the family and the doctors feel like as a team. All right? That's what that means. There's no death panel that's going to kill nope, you all. it's the bioethics committee. Second of all, well, second of all, as far as, I know you were talking about, I was asked about um, Obama. He's doing, he, overall, he's doing a pretty good job. He's had some mistakes. Everybody, everybody does, sure. But overall, he's not bad. Do you think uh, sodium fluoride in the water supply is a good thing? I'm not going to debate forward with you because that's long been proven that it is. I'm not going to debate forward with you. Second of all. No, oh, um, you're not going to debate? Well, we're not going to talk anymore. Because fluoride, fluoride, fluoride is safe now. Um, okay, what's next on your list? What's next on your list? What's your next point? Well, uh, fluoride, fine. What's, what's wrong with fluoride? Fine. Let's just talk about fluoride then. <laughs> 
And don't quit Harvard study. That's not what the Harvard study says. But go ahead. Oh, really? The Harvard study shows an IQ drop. It indexes, what, 24 other studies, and there are literally thousands of others you as know, well. What the Harvard study says is that it's 27 cases in China and Iran, and it's massive doses of natural fluoride. The conclusions of the study say there are no conclusions based on this we can apply to the United States. Now, No, Harvard, what they said crazy. is they said at 1.6 parts per million is what the study says. Man, you are unbelievable. So, so do you have any children? <laughs> Yes, I have two kids, as a matter of fact. And 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 uh, do you buy the fluoride water at the store for them? No, I don't buy water. I use it as a tap water. Water is expensive. Do you even filter out the chlorine and stuff? Do you think chlorine's good? I'm a, I've been up for 42 years, and I'm not sick from fluoride and chlorine. Well, well my, kids, my kids are not sick. My let me tell you, the uh, cancer of the bladder is way up. And it's directly linked to chlorine, which I think we need to purify the water, but you need to filter that out. No, I, I don't think so. But anyway, back to the... Um, hold on. The, uh, you're, you're, hold on a minute. Yeah. Okay, what about vaccines? Uh, you think those are great? No matter what I say, you're going to disagree with me. And have, Let me ask you this questions. question. Do you, you think it's good that they're yes. forcibly sterilizing currently poor women in California? What? Do you think you, the forced sterilization you currently going on... No, in, currently eugenic sterilization is going on in California. Pull up AP no, for no. him. No, there's not. Now back to vaccines. Hold yes, on, sir. Hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. They are they are currently forcibly sterilizing people in California. Really? Okay. Uh, I'm sure along so, so along now, Alex. I'm sure you have one case you think is all over the state. But anyway, back to vaccines. Yes, there are vaccines that have uh, viruses in them. They're stunned. That's how it works. A vaccine does have a live virus to, to make the body react to it. Does not have a live virus. It has an attenuated virus. And the real graphs show that vaccines are increasing. They're actually causing the diseases. No, that's not true. How come, then, then how come there hasn't been a major increase in polio or you know, anything like that? Sure, oh, tens of thousands of people got paralyzed in India alone because of them giving them, in that case, live polio vaccine. In India, where that right from all the neons. Where they, when they took the vaccine. No. Let me ask you a question. We're going to skip this network break. So you really believe, sir, sir, l listen, just be honest with me. You know who I am. I'm a radio talk show host in Austin, Texas. I haven't had lunch yet. I'm going to have a little bite of this coconut bar here. Will you oh, please no, no. tell me, William, yeah. what type of America do you believe in socialism? Mm, for medicine, yes. For, for socialized medicine, yeah. Socialism itself, not so much. Really? So yeah. one, okay. I mean, how, how much socialism do we need? Yeah, uh, if we have, well, uh, good uh, health care, like our candidate has to be nice. Other than that, I think we're fine. I figured it out. You're a social worker, aren't you? How do, what, what did you think that? Yeah. Because you're on a power trip. I'm on a power trip? How am I going to talk about saying I think you have medicine for everybody? What kind of social worker are you? That's not, that's not your business what I am, Alex. And you do a lot yeah, of bad I, stuff, don't you? Let me ask you a question. Okay, Let me ask yeah. you a question. Do you think the, the family belongs to a bygone, arcane age? No. Do you agree with MSNBC when they say that the family is not part of the equation now, that it's the, it's the state and the community that runs things? No, I mean, it, the community is involved, but no. What do you think about uh, neighbors see kids playing with the toy guns in the backyard so they're kicked out of school? One incident, I don't know all the facts. Well, no, I mean, it's on record. I mean, my point is, you as a, you don't believe in a right to keep and bear arms, do you? Or your right means we turn them in, right? Um, certain firearms could be personally regu regulated, yes. Others shouldn't. Mm-hmm. So you really see in your life, your personal destiny is you expand in power as the state expands in power. No. What kind of social worker are you? I work with kids. You work with kids? Mm -hmm. God, I don't know how I know all this stuff. I help them, help them get into school, help them get a place to live, and help them get set up in, in apartments, help them get cars, help them get their, uh, get their school paid for, yeah. And everybody else is a kid, and the state is the daddy, and you're going to show us how everything runs. I'm going to help them get, get life skills, yes. I want to encourage you to do something. I want to encourage you to take every vaccine they recommend. It's more than 50 a year. I take I, vaccines. 
And I'm perfectly healthy. I bet you do, buddy. I'm perfectly healthy. I take vaccines. What do you I think of your What do you healthy. think of your social worker counterparts uh, that deal? Do you, do you deal with the small children? No, my, they're all they're all over eighteen. Yeah. How do you think I knew you were a social worker? Cold reading. Pardon me. Cold reading. You if you just took clues from what I said and and assumed it. Man, listen. I've been places that uh, you'll probably never be, okay? And I've seen things you haven't seen, obviously. I just feel sorry for you, man, and I appreciate your call. <sighs> they are domesticating us. They are collectivizing us. That guy was a house slave. That's what he was. He was a house slave. The Romans figured it out. They would bring the women, but the men are like that now, too, into the house, into the castle, they would teach him that, you know, you're, it's your job to rule over the male slaves and the children that are out there in the barn. This was done with the Romans and the Goths uh, and the Gauls. The, the, that's the French today. And they, they, they're always the greatest defenders of the system. And you can just hear it. It's a, it's a spirit. It's not that I read things he was saying. It was the, it was the enjoyment. It was the ha, ha, ha. Because <laughs> I've been in the family court when the family's crying and they go, it's okay, it's for your own good. But then they also get off on the power. And I heard the enjoyment. I heard the enjoyment on seeing everyone having to come to him and being dependent. The domestication, the power. He's a priest. See, I'm a priest of empowerment of human liberty. I like to see real uh, empowerment. I believe in the individual. I believe in decentralizing power. You believe in centralizing it. And if you look at the actuaries, you know, that guy was probably 30 years old, 33 years old, 34 years old. He'll probably die 20, 30 years early because the soft kill is intensifying now. If he even lives through what's coming up, if they don't release the bioweapons. Imagine a government on record that's done thousands of lethal experiments, killing troops, foster kids, you name it. And this guy wants to take shots they're pushing. He's not going to go look up any of this stuff. He listens to the show and he thinks I'm full of bull. And he goes and picks through things and tries to find the whitewash that, you know, the uh, Harvard study puts in there so they don't get sued as a proviso and just says everything's fine. I got to go back and listen to that and, and wonder how I can tell. Man, I just know how government people talk, and I know how certain groups of them are because they're programmed. Let's go another phone call. Sorry to be eating on the air. I just haven't eaten since early this morning. I'm starving. Uh, Robert, I know that was hard to listen to. Thank you for joining us. What do you think of that victim? Well, I'm, I'm telling you, Alex, that chuckle in his voice just, really gave me a creeped out feeling they're coming for us too uh, bud they're shutting off their yeah. infrastructure so we need them that 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 literally kind of took my breath away just was like you said that little chuckle in his voice you could just hear let me tell you when they take people's that, kids that's what they do and yeah i've actually i've actually rolled around on the ground and vomited before after i was around them that's why i knew it, it, it almost gave me the feeling this morning after watching Ted Cruz uh, jump off the line and then uh, John McCain actually got on there and just the, the, the listening to him and, and, and knowing that he spent $21 million to be reelected in his last campaign when he only gets paid $174,000, it just makes me sick to see these people in power and to think that they're on this power trip and it just makes me sick and ill to my stomach to know that they're not out for the goodness of mankind and they're the goodness for you and me. They're out just for ultimate con total control and destruction of this country. And if you look around the world, they're, they're just taking picking countries down one at a time. And if they can take down the United States of America, it, it's a free for all after that because we're the only ones that are going to be able to pull this off and save the world when it comes down to it. And, and, and hearing his voice and just thinking that there's actually people like that that get off on that, it just, ooh, it just makes me sick to my stomach. It's, it's disgusting. You notice when I predicted he was a social worker out of the hundreds of jobs that are out there, he got a little shook up.
Yeah, he, he kept telling you, you know, that just stop jumping from one subject to another, and uh, he, he couldn't stay with you. And your, your interview yesterday, Alex, and i got to commend you, that was just bombshell, the information that you broke yesterday. Thank you, man. That was awesome. Well, God bless you, too. I, I just, this is a exhilarating job at one level, but it's also very depressing. Um, to, 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 it's one thing when they jerk these little babies away from these mothers that have done nothing. Or the dad goes in uh, to get an insurance test and has marijuana in his blood, so they come and take the two-year-old child. And they're at court, and, and they're like, we have family. And, the, and, then the, and then the weirdo judge is always the same and gets off on it. And the CPS workers get off on the pain. And you watch them getting off on the pain. It's like a power trip. And they're always real weak, but they have that giggle. It's a demonic spirit, basically. And, I mean, I know them. I know their uniform by their voice. And, it, and, 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 I mean, I'm not kidding, folks. I've cried over this when I've seen them feeding on the families. I've actually thrown up. It hurts so bad. And that's why I've, I've gotten so angry uh, is, uh, but you know what? Think of being that guy, how pathetic he is. Think about how small and dumb and, and gang memberish it is to feel like he's part of this big government. When the history of government is so clear, they really believe they're helping people. The useful idiot type like him. And they'll turn a blind eye to anything before they admit they're in the wrong. Thank you, Robert. Let's talk to Dan in Kentucky. Dan, uh, welcome to the Airwaves. Yeah, hey, what's up, Alex? Uh, there's, uh, there's just some things that I want to go over. Like, uh, um, you know, we gotta we got to, like, start paying with cash and, and, and preparing our own food and stuff like that. I mean, part of the thing is, is this is a digital monster, and we need to stop feeding it. You know, with the No, no, we have to understand, the government has good people in it. But it's run by the eugenicist globalist that might as well be aliens from a trillion miles away come to kill us. I mean, they're that anti-human, that anti-family. And they're coming for us. I mean, they are the enemy. And they know that. And they don't care about their own people. They're going to blow stuff up and blame it on us. They're coming. They're coming. Absolutely. But everybody is always saying, what can we do about it? We're, we're, we're down here compartmentalized. We're, we're, we're the people that are funding the money for the societal uh, 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 redistribution of wealth. What we need to do is stop giving them numbers to crush. No, I agree. Anybody that can needs to decouple from the system like the illegal aliens do and just comply with nothing and teach your children that the government might as well be aliens from a trillion miles away to come to suck your soul. I mean, it, it is they are the enemy from front to back. And 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 they they are they they will destroy anything that isn't their Borg. They are collectivist demons from hell who can only live off us and have convinced themselves how great they are. I mean, they are just monstrous. God bless you. I appreciate your call, Dan. You know, talking to that spirit earlier was pretty sick, wasn't it? Let's talk to uh, Max. You're on the air, Max. We only got about a minute. Go ahead. Hey, buddy. Uh, I had a dream uh, that I would be judged by the results of my capability, not the contents of my wallet. And uh, I recently made an entry for the Health and Human Services video contest. And uh, it was kind of an info bomb and censored myself in fear of retaliation and persecution in a one-second scene where Obama snorts a nanobox line in the shape of America and blows his nose in $800. Do you think that sort of uh, self-censorship is a safe bet, or am I holding myself back? No, no, that's a great way. Uh, enter all their fake contests and everything with your own info. Post it publicly. Just attack them. I mean, if all of us just do a little bit, it's over. Just non-comply. When you see them, let them know that you, you don't like them. Don't give them any fear. They want you to be scared of them. Just let them know they're filth and you hate them. That's the most important thing. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network.